Kia ora. It has been 20 days using this one Dexcom G6 sensor. So a standard sensor is warranted um, for 10 days I've to use and I have been able to restart it to extend that. Um, so this video I'm going to share how I've done that. Uh, just before I start, just want to say this is absolutely um, not, not endorsed by Dexcom. Obviously, uh, standard practices that after you've used the sensor for 10 days, you would purchase a new one um, to carry on. However, in New Zealand, no CGM or uh, CGMs are not funded. So people either go without or they're having to, like me, um, work out creative ways to ensure they can extend them and uh, make them more affordable. So I'm hoping that eventually, one day, this video will be redundant. People in New Zealand will not have to hack the system to live well with diabetes um, because they will be funded. It's a no-brainer. But, so I want to show you how I did it. Three easy steps. The first thing we need to do is remove the G6 transmitter from the sensor. Then we're going to wait 15 to 30 minutes before finally putting the transmitter back in and restarting the sensor. So this is probably the trickiest part. Um, I use old test strips to get in there and underneath it. Um, I've seen online people using uh, credit cards, they're a little bit thick, or a, like a gift card. Uh, so let's get going. leave this out for uh, we'll say a minimum of minimum of 15 minutes so others I've seen leaving it from sort of anywhere to 15 to 30 um, making sure it's away from the sensor so giving uh, this a bit of a break uh, tricking it I suppose to thinking it's no longer um, in there and then eventually we'll put this back in there's time to put it back in so before I do though, I'm just going to give the uh, the transmitter a good clean. So nice and clean, all I'm going to do is now pop that transmitter back in and we'll hear it click. And now we're, um, we should be ready to restart it. So where's my pump? I... Um, I don't have my Dexcom connected to my phone uh, purely because you need a certain um, uh, type of phone and I'm just going to cheat a couple of hundred dollar ones so it doesn't work. So I um, only have it connected to my insulin pump and I'm simply going to uh, restart a sensor exactly like I would uh, if this was a brand new one. So going into my pump, uh, where are we? My CGM start sensor. Um, it's asking me for the code and I'm going to put in the four digit code that I used um, initially. Putting that in and done. Okay, you're ready to start your CGM session. New sensor reading will display on your home screen. Start sensor. So now I expect like normal I'm going to get the uh, two hour warm up because with the G6 it is automatically calibrated once it has warmed up there is no need to then do the double finger pricks um, to calibrate it and then obviously every 12 hours um, I however I am mindful that potentially now I'm getting into if, if this works this will be 21 days using my or using this sensor 
And so I will check every so often using a finger prick to check the accuracy. And I can then, if I need to, calibrate it um, if it's a little bit out. Obviously, if it gets too out, I'll call it a day and have to use a new sensor. So here we go, fingers crossed, uh, this works. We will know, normally it's within the first sort of 15, 20 minutes, I believe, like if this isn't gonna work, there'll be an error message. So if we can kind of get past that first half an hour, means this should work. Watch this space. I can share, it worked. So my Dexcom, sensor I have been able to restart. I removed the transmitter for I think it was close to 20 minutes maybe 25 top so I think the minimum is sort of 15 keep it removed and away um, put it back in restarted using um, the same way you normally would using a four digit code and we're back on track I've um, my blood sugars are through the roof uh, which I kind of um, think kind of highlights how important a CGM is. Here we go, back up and running.